What's up, everybody? Hey, hey, we are at the Dean Guitars booth. I am Lacey. We're live in Am, and I have a very, very special guest. This is Chris, and he is best known in Sabotage and Trans Siberian Orchestra. What's up, you? How are you doing? Good to I see you. I am wonderful. Good to see you, too. Yeah, so when did you roll in today? I actually rolled in last night. Did you? Yeah. Good deal. So I understand you guys have been doing some serious touring, huh? Yeah, we uh, just finished a TSO tour. I did, I think it was 68 shows in 67 days, and we had a uh, all together with the whole TSO tours combined, we did 1.2 million tickets this year, so it was pretty cool. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. That Thank is you. awesome. Thank you. That's a lot so what you got here? What you got? What you got? Uh, my new Dean Wizard TSO split tail guitar, which I had on the tour this year. That's it Looks gorgeous. great in the lights, a lot of fun at parties. I can imagine so. Yeah. Yeah, very good. How long have you been playing Dean for? I actually just uh, moved over to Dean this year, then, or actually last year, too. I actually did, yeah, I'm a recent Dean fan also. Yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm new and I'm excited and they're making great guitars and I'm happy to be here. Very cool. So now what exactly drew you to Dean Guitars? What did I, what? What drew you to Dean Guitars? Like what made you go, oh, hey, I want one of those? Well, actually, I was I was in Europe and I was playing guitar with a, a female metal singer named Doro Pesh. She sang with Warlock, and I was over there, and I had no guitars for a couple shows, and they had contacts with Dean in Europe, mm -hmm. and they got me one of their Cadillac guitars, and I played that, and then Sean, the drummer from Megadeth, called me ironically when I got back to America and said, hey, we're me and my brother, who play guitar in a band, we're moving over to Dean, and, and I got a lot of really good things going, and I flew down to Florida and met with the company, and Next thing I know, I had a, an arsenal of Deans on the arena tour, and it was fun. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're really great guys over at the Dean oh, Company. Yeah, they're great. Too. They're great. Dean himself is, is amazing. So I met I met him out on the road, and right. it's it's been fun. They're great, and I love playing them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's one of the things that I'm really enjoying once I'm starting to get to know all of the Dean people is that they're one of us. You know, they're just they're fellow musicians. It's not like you're dealing with like some corporate a-hole. You know, they're, they're they understand what the wants are, what the needs are, and they're constantly reinventing themselves, reinventing the guitars and you know keeping people like you and I happy. Well that's what I like about it too and like you said everything's gotten so corporate and as you play guitar you want good guitars that's what it comes down to and I was getting guitars from other companies and they just weren't holding up on the road and, and I mean it's not about getting something from somebody for nothing. I wanted right. to have guitars that I could play and Dean they gave me the attention and built me what you know building me what I wanted and Right. Like that's that's what's important to me. I've been playing too long to get something that's not good. Absolutely. Yeah, it doesn't matter it's like if you're endorsed, if it's free, whatever, it's a piece of crap. Yeah, exactly. It's still a piece it of crap. I just like I said, it's all about getting great guitars and that's why I'm here. Absolutely. Well very cool. So now how many Deans do you have at this point? At this point I have six. What do you have? I have well of course this split tail, I've got Cadillac, I've got a couple Solteros, I've got uh, a revenge guitar that they have that looks really cool in purple lights, but I covered the word revenge on the TSO tour because it is a family concert. So. <laughs> of course, of course. You wouldn't want to offend anyone. <laughs> exactly. So, I, yeah, I have six now and, and they're making me some new ones for the next year. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Cool. So do you, have a, do you have a favorite one? This one. Yeah. Absolutely. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> you, you look good in blue, I must say. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I yeah. Yeah, well, you know, and obviously the thing that's so cool about Dean Guitars that we keep talking about here is the, the shape. Yeah, no, it's it's an amazing thing. It looks looks great on stage. And um, the cool thing was, I don't think many people have seen this design. And when I brought it out onto the, the TSO tour, it was kind of weird. I never saw a guitar get applause. I'd yeah. walk out on stage and there'd be an arena full of people. And you'd walk <laughs> over to the side and they're clapping. I'm going, well, I know they know me and they like me, but they're clapping. They really were excited to see this guitar. I mean, it has the TSO graphics on it and stuff, but they, this is definitely a, cool. a very Yeah, cool the graphics are amazing. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, good for you. So, um, so are you going to get to take a little break after all this touring? Theoretically. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to work. I do some solo records on my own, so I'm working on one this year. I'll probably be writing for that and recording with TSO. We have another, awesome. another non-holiday record we're working on now called Night Castle, and that's hopefully going to be finished this year. And then, yeah. of course... Well, tell me about your solo stuff. My solo stuff, I, I sing and, and play the guitars, and I mean, with Sabotage stopped getting busy, TSO was only really touring in November and December, so I was sitting there, I really couldn't join another band because it's hard to tell a band, look, I can't play October, November, December, and January, it just can't happen. So I'm sitting there figuring if I can't play with somebody else, I might as well play with myself. <laughs> you know, it's my favorite thing to do too, is, you know, it's a good rule of thumb, you can't play with somebody, play with yourself. So that's my quote and I'm sticking by it. <laughs> you know, I've got a lot of great quotes so far. That's probably one of the things, I, the best thing I can take from this whole experience is, is the quotes. I didn't even realize it. 
There you go. Well, that's very cool. Well, do you have any uh, websites that you can plug while we're here? Yeah, well, www.chriscaffery.com and uh, my MySpace site, which is just MySpace slash Chris Caffery. And yeah. you can get all the useless information on me there. So. That's cool. Well, the guitar is beautiful. It's definitely yeah. one of my favorites here as well. And there's a lot of great ones to choose from. So. It's none more blue. Right? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. It's been a pleasure. So are you going to be around all weekend? Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be all okay. Disney. Right, right. Yeah. So are you going to come party with us and drinking? Yeah, absolutely. And awesome. Fun. Very Great. cool. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. And um, we will talk to you. I mean, you guys stick around and come say hi again later okay. on today or this weekend. <laughs> all right. So that was Chris with... Uh, I'm sorry. sorry, I've got too many people talking to me at one time. My brain only functions one direction. Anyway, um, that was Chris with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. And we are going to take a short break. So stick around. We will be back at DeanGuitars.com. Thank you.